everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. And remember, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything you need. So before we get into uh, Major League Baseball picks for June the 27th, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP club section where you have all the tools. So let's take a look here as we are approaching the midway point of the Major League Baseball season. The division races are continuously heating up. And we have a full slate of games for June the 27th. So let's take a look at some of them. So we're going to scroll down through here. we got Baltimore and Toronto. We're not going to take a look at that one. Atlanta, Cincinnati. Houston and Detroit. The first one we want to take a closer look at is the Los Angeles Angels and the Tampa Bay Rays. The Angels are fourth in the American League West. And the Rays are second in the American League East after a 3-7 and seven stretch. Los Angeles, if you look at the power ranking indicator, has a plus 12 to 0 advantage. If you look at the uh, totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, you can see that the Angels are playing in games trending over the line, while the Rays are playing in games slightly under the line. If we take a look at the scores predictor, we have a 6-5 to five edge for the Angels with a confidence in prediction of 72.3%. You can see the Angels right now are averaged down at the moment. They have lost their last three games. While the Rays are dead up, they are 1-5 over the last six. Patrick Sandoval is scheduled to pitch for the Angels. He is 2-2 two two at the 3.69 ERA, and the Rays have not yet named their starting pitcher. If you take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see that under a limited sample size, you can see that Sandoval has not been a good bet so far at minus $586. The way I'm seeing this game is, even though that Sandoval has not been a good bet as of late, the Angels are the better team. They're not playing better at the moment, but right now, lately, they have been the better team, uh, considering the 3-7 and seven stretch that the Rays are under. They are dropping. I believe that that skid will continue. I believe that the Angels will win the game. The New York Yankees at the Boston Red Sox. Here's a classic American League East matchup. The Yankees are average up at the moment. You can see they won their last game and four out of their last six. And the Red Sox are average down, having lost their last game and three and three over their last six games. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that we have the Yankees here at, uh, where are they are, plus 18, and the Red Sox at plus 19. So they're very close and almost neck, neck in that category. Uh, neither team has uh, named their starting pitcher yet. If you take a look at the totals predictor, if you want to consider the over and under, the uh, Yankees are slightly over the line in their games, as are the Red Sox. That's a good indication to bet the over. But if you look at the scores predictor, and you see the scores predictor has the Yankees at a 7 nothing uh, shutout with a 50% confidence in prediction. If that score does hold true, that will not be an over. So we have a little bit conflicting here as far as the over-under goes. I would avoid betting the over-under in this one. I do believe that the Yankees have the better team. They will win the game, but I don't think it's going to be by seven runs. Phillies and the Mets. Nationals and the Marlins. Indians and Twins. And now we're going to take a look at the Rockies and the Brewers. Milwaukee enters with the best record in the National League Central, and the Rockies are fourth in the National League West. The Rockies are average at the moment. They won their last game, breaking a three-game losing streak. And the Brewers are burning hot, winners of their last two games and four out of their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you will see Milwaukee is at plus 14 compared to plus 10 for Colorado. On the mound for the Rockies is going to be Chi-Chi Gonzalez. He is 2-4 and four with a 6.16 ERA. And Eric Lauer is 1-3, and three, with also with a high ERA of 5.21. Look at the pitcher profit oscillator. You can see that Lauer has been a good bet at plus $536. And Gonzalez has been a good bet also at plus $291. If you're looking at the over and under in this matchup, you can see that Colorado slightly over the line. Milwaukee slightly under the line. It's so probably a good indication not to bet the over and under. But let's take a look at the scores predictor. If you look at the scores predictor, you might want to reconsider that. Milwaukee with a 5-1 to one advantage with 50, almost 52% confidence. I actually would probably lean towards the under in this one. But take a look as you get closer to the game for the odds and the line before you place that bet. 
the Mariners and the White Sox. Here's another interesting matchup. The Mariners are burning hot down, uh, coming off a loss, but they are winners of five out of their last six. And the White Sox are dead up, winners of their last game, but one in five over their last six. The White Sox hold the top spot in the American League Central, while the Mariners are third in the American League West. If you take a look at the power ranking indicators, Seattle is at plus 27, while the White Sox are plummeting and they are down to plus 5. If you're considering the over and under in this game, you can see that over the line for Seattle right now, and over the line for Chicago, so that's a very strong indication to bet the over. But let's take a look at the scores predictor. That might lead you to maybe hedge on that bet, considering we have Seattle with a 5-4 to edge with confidence in prediction at 82%. Unless we figure the totals are going to be less than 9, you would not want to bet the over. It's really hard to tell, though, because we have uh, no lines yet posted for this game. Okay, so for our next game, we want to look at, we got the Pirates and the Cardinals. We don't want to look at that one. The Royals and the Tigers. Knees and the Giants. We go down through here. There's a couple more games here. The Diamondbacks and the Padres. Got the Cubs and the Dodgers. Here's a game we wanted to look at. The Cubs are average status at the moment. They are 3-3 three three over their last six, while the Dodgers are average down. Losers are their last three and also 3-3 three three over their last six. Albert Alzole is scheduled to pitch for the Cubs. Albert Alzole, excuse me, he is 4-6 and six with a 4.19 ERA, while Clayton Kershaw at 8-7 and seven with a 3.43 ERA is scheduled to pitch for the Dodgers. If you look at the picture profit oscillator, you can see that Kershaw is at plus 1,040. Very strong bet there. And minus 213 for Alzele. Not a good bet for him. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Dodgers, although plummeting, they are still ahead of the Cubs at plus 13 compared to another plummeting team in the Cubs at plus 4. If you take a look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, you can see that the Cubs are playing in games trending way under the line. The Dodgers playing in games trending under the line as well. That means it's a strong indication to bet the under. And the scores prediction kind of shows that as well with the Cubs having a 5-4 to four edge with a 60% confidence in prediction. Nine runs usually would guarantee an under. Again, the odds have not yet been posted, so take a look at that before you bet. But I would go with that play, betting the under. And I do think that the Cubs, although playing, you know, well, I think that the Dodgers clearly are the stronger team. Even though they have lost their last three, they will come away with the win at home. So there you have it. Those are all the games that we wanted to take a look at for this week. And remember, the All-Star break is coming up soon. So it's an exciting time for baseball coming up. So place your bets, have fun, enjoy the games, and we will see you next time.